Hello and welcome to today's class. For this class, we're trying to prove some trigonometry identity, right? So for this class, we're trying to prove um, left hand side being equal to what the right hand side. As you can see the question in front of you, right? So if you are new to this channel, I would like you to hit the session button, hit the like button, and subscribe to this channel. Perhaps uh, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have been doing a series of videos under the study of trigonometry. To view out these videos, uh, um, arrange accordingly. I will drop the link to this to the to the videos in the description of the video. So try to watch those video before you dive into the understanding of this concept here. All right, how do we get this done? First is first. Let's start with the first one there. Let's start with A. <laughs> All right, let's start with question A there. For question A, I have that. I have for A, I have that sec theta, sorry, sec squared theta, co sec squared theta is equal to sec squared theta plus co sec squared theta. So the idea is that we are trying to prove the left hand side being equal to the sorry 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 the right hand side per se. If I'm saying like this, I'm trying to prove the right hand side being equal to what to the left hand side. But if I'm saying like this, like this, I'm trying to prove what the the left hand side being equal to the right hand side. That's the concept. So the idea is that I'm picking out this one. So it means that after picking out this one, after solving it. My answer should be something of this nature. Should be this exactly. So how do you prove this one here? My first task is that I'll pick out this question here. I have sex squared theta or sex squared theta. This becomes the question I have. I will try to solve this one, break it down, such that my answer must be something of this nature. So how do you solve this problem here? First is first, for sex squared theta, what we know before now is that if I have sec theta, this can be expressed as what? 1 over cos theta from our basic idea. So it means that perhaps if I have a square here, yeah, it means that I'll have a square here. Yeah, that's the meaning. So it means that for cos for sec square theta, I can express this as being equal to what? 1 over cos square theta. That's for this one alone. Into for cosec square theta, we know for now that if I have cosec theta, that can be expressed as what? 1 over sine theta. Similarly, if I have a square here, it means that I'll have a square here. So per se now, I'm saying that I can express cosec square theta as being equal to 1 over sine square theta. So I'll have 1 over sine square theta in this, um, at this point here. So and um, at this point, what's next? Uh, my next task now is that I will multiply through. So it's been equal to this. This bracket means multiplication. So one times one will give one all over cos square theta times sin square theta. That will give cos square theta sine squared theta. So at this point now, what's your next task? Observe, please. Observe something, please. I'm having one here. I can express this one in, two, in, in, in a condition. Observe that I'm having cos and sine. Cos and sine. Now, the idea is that this one now, how can I express one in terms of cos and sine? The idea is simple. What we know, but, but, before now, what we know before now is that if I have cos square theta plus what? Sine square theta, that's what? That's equal to one, right? So it means that one now. so the idea is that i can express everything here in terms of one so i'm saying that one is equal to what everything here or everything is equal to one so i'm seeing one here replace this one as being equal to what everything here so the idea becomes from here i will have one now is what everything here that becomes cos square theta plus sine square theta has been one here so all over what everything there becomes cos squared theta sine squared theta at this point here what's your next tax my next tax is to simplify this more better i'll split it into two how do you split 
uh, this becomes pick out this one alone that's called square theta all over everything down here cos square theta sine square theta i'm done with the first one plus i have a plus sign here the second one becomes sine square theta all over everything down here cos square theta next up sine square theta for mathematics for mathematics idea we know that we know that cos square theta cancel as what cos square theta this one here cancel out this one what are we left with i'll have that one over here i'll have that one all over sine square theta sine square theta plus next up one will be here one over what there cos squared theta at this point what's your next tax don't forget that we are trying to prove the left hand side being equal to what right hand side so it means that I, at the end of my solving i must be having this answer so at this point here what's next observe that we said earlier that if i have sec theta that's what one by what sine theta but i'm seeing one by sine theta here now i mean now i can express it as what sec theta so now at this point now i will i will express this one as saying but for this one for this one we know that sec square theta is what the what one over sine square theta true so i'm seeing this one here yeah. i'll replace what with this right also for this one here yeah, for this one i know that um co cosec sorry all right sorry i'm having co yes cos theta please cosec theta becomes one of our what cos theta please so anyway i see sorry cos theta please sec square theta we give one over cos theta so when anyway, i say one over cos theta i'll replace as what cosec theta so i'll replace this one as being this one also cosec theta is what one over what sine square theta put a square here so when anyway, i see one over sine square theta i'll replace as what cosec square theta so what does it mean it means that for this one now i'm having this one here so the value is um being equal to what cosec square theta next up this is a plus sign plus i'm still on about cos theta that's what sec square theta i have sec squared theta this has been proved as you can see in front of you so irrespective of the order if i say three plus two and i'm still saying two plus three they're still the same thing so irrespective of they are the same thing as you can see so it comes out to prove this identity all right in our next class we'll try to solve um question b